Welcome back to my channel guys. It's time for another chapter manga review. This is going to be on a new one. This is called, I think it's, pr it's pronounced Sinol Alice, uh, but I'm not really sure if that's how it is, but um, uh, it is a one that I saw on the bookstore. Wasn't really sure about it because uh, it was in, um, it, it was covered up with, um, so, you know, some, some of this material and um if if you're a manga buyer like i am you know that that means it has adult content so um but just looking at the cover i i knew that it wasn't gonna be um completely just sexual stuff and there is some so i will give you that warning there is some sexual stuff it's not explicit which is great i appreciated that but there is quite a bit of adult, adult content in in overall um, umbrella so before I continue my review though if you haven't done so by now make sure you subscribe to my channel I am giving um, this is a chance uh, as the first volume it only has three chapters so I'm gonna read the three chapters and do three reviews on the same first volume if I end up liking it which I already do to be honest um, probably will get volume two and three which I saw in the bookstore um, and, and then we'll go from there so thank you guys so much for, for this if you haven't done so subscribe comment like and share check out my social media in the description below and also if you want to uh, check out some cheap anime manga light novels there is a link down there where you guys can buy from so okay um, this series uh, I guess um, never heard of it so it was a little bit surprising of what I saw it is uh, created by Square Enix uh, manga and if you haven't heard of Square Enix, it's because Square Enix doesn't release a lot of manga. It, they're fairly, I want to say fairly new, but they're not fairly new. They have quite a bit of stuff that's years old, but they don't release a lot of stuff. You know, Yen Press here in the United States, um, Seven Seats Entertainment, Dark Horse, even um, Vis Media, Shonen Jump, all of these um, Kodansha comics, all these release immensely amounts of, of stuff. Some more than others. I want to say Yen Press probably releases the most. And then from there, Vis Media and stuff like that. But Square Enix doesn't really release a lot. But I have learned that the ones that they do release are good. Um, so I'm excited for this one. That's kind of the only reason I said I'm going to give it a try. Was because Square Enix. Uh, I said, okay, they, they, don't, they don't just pick what they can pick. They pick... Um, specific ones they want to pick so yeah why not so the first chapter very good well done um she wakes up from this weird dream uh she i'm gonna assume this is alice um because that's what they call her but they for some reason her name is blacked out and then alice on top so i don't know if that's her real name or not but she wakes up from her dream and essentially from the get-go we're getting hints that alice is sleeping with her teacher um now she goes to school school kind of normal teacher is a little bit you know gives special treatment to alice so you put one and one together they're sleeping together and then there's there's scenes or um graphic pages that they show oh yeah they're sleeping together like not very graphic like i said but enough to to say oh yeah they're they're having sex um well she has a blonde friend who is also very much you know a ditzy head teacher takes off her phone at one point says you have to stay after school well we later find out that this girl is also sleeping with the same teacher like they're friends and <laughs> she's sleeping with the teacher and she knows that alice is also sleeping with him like they i guess they confess it to through text and she finally tells them like tells her like hey i'm also sleeping with him and i'm pregnant so um it goes from there he she tells him he doesn't want it so then she's left to decide to keep the baby she says that she is but she's just gonna raise it on her own and the next day is just a complete different story um alice shows up to basically chaos in the school the girl killed the teacher stabbed him to death and now she's in the roof trying to commit suicide alice shows up She's apologizing to Alice, and Alice pushes a girl off the roof, and then she holds onto her hand, throwing herself off the roof. Now, this wakes up Alice, 
and she's like, oh, I had a very explicit, very detailed dream. And then she talks about, like, my brother wasn't even in the dream. My dad wasn't even in the picture. Like, yeah, it's funny. And then I was friends with this random girl who I'd never been friends with. And it kind of almost seems like everything is fine. And she just had a crazy dream. But then we hit this scene. And we you don't really know what the heck is going on. But this, this girl in her kitchen with the bodies of, I can only say, her brother, mom, and dad all cut up and she's just smiling um i mean it's just weird um and we get the same weird tone weird um i guess a uh, phrase that she used in the beginning of how she feels like her life is just a dream and she just wants to wake up from this dream and um she doesn't know you know how her life can be it is how it is and that's really it that's that's the end of the first chapter it ends with this huge page saying this bondage dream and that's it um i don't know what is real like this whole story the whole first chapter seemed to be like crazy it was it was very crazy um and then it ends with it was all a dream and then but the reality is worse than the dream like, the dream was better than her reality, which it, it, I hope that this is also a dream. And she's just, um, I guess, in a paradox where she's just repeating nightmares. Or I don't know. I don't, really don't know. It, it didn't give us any direction of where it's going to go. So I'm excited to read Chapter 2 and Chapter 3 because I feel Chapter 2 might explain some things but still leave us at a what is going on. And Chapter 3 might hook us. But I don't know. I it, it might just leave us with more questions, and that's okay. That makes a good suspense series like this one be worthwhile. So um, out of 10, I'm going to give this one a solid 8. I don't rarely get give 8s, for those who are first watching this, um, to volume 1s or chapter 1s usually because everyone has space to grow and everyone has you know sometimes fall down and i don't want to give a series that's going to be worse than i thought an eight that's you know not so well deserving to to give so uh but i i think it is it deserves an eight i think if you haven't heard of it you probably have to pretty much have to get to, into it now it is based on a popular mobile app um i think mobile rpg game so if you played the game, maybe you know what's going on and kind of know the story. So that kind of ruins it. But I never played the game. I actually never heard of the game until I saw that it was from a game uh, from the back of the book. But um, yeah, I still I still think that it's going to be something that a lot of people are going to enjoy. So yeah, we'll see. For now, guys, that is it that I have for you guys. Thank you guys so much for watching this. If you haven't done so by now, subscribe to my channel. Give some love by commenting, liking, and sharing. Uh, check out my other chapter reviews. Uh, I am doing other series. Uh, still doing some Shonen Jump. Hopefully, we'll get back to some of the stuff that I dropped off. Pick up again here in the summer. Uh, but we'll see. Thank you again for the love and support. And like always, don't be strangers. See you guys.